The vehicles you're about to see were all seriously considered by governments and private companies. Some were taken through development and even to the prototype phase, but none have ultimately become a reality. Thank God. These are five crazy nuclear-powered vehicles. 1. Project Orion It's hard to believe now, but at one time the US taxpayer funded research into a spaceship that was propelled by nuclear bombs being dropped out of the back of the ship. Orion was started in the late 50s, when the world was still excited and somewhat naive about nuclear power. It would have been the size of the Empire State Building, carrying a crew of 50 or more beyond Earth orbit to other planets in our solar system. Small versions of the ship were tested successfully with regular explosives. Since the project got funding from the US Air Force, military applications were also explored including turning the ship into a doomsday machine that could stay in orbit over the USSR and at the push of a button rain down a massive amount of nuclear bombs on the Soviets. President Kennedy was horrified after seeing a model of the battleship version of Orion. Head of the project Freeman Dyson also worked out that between 1 and 10 people would die each time the ship was launched because of radioactive fallout. This was a further nail in the coffin for Orion. The Nuclear Test Ban Treaty of 1963 ultimately ended the project, banning all atmospheric detonation of nuclear bombs, which was precisely what would take place every time Orion flew. 2. Nuclear Planes The US and Russia both started projects to produce airplanes powered by onboard nuclear reactors during the 1950s and 60s. The US tested the idea with a modified B-36 and the USSR with the Tu-95 and 119. Both planes flew around with working reactors on board but were still powered by conventional engines. The problem both sides faced was how to shield the pilots from radiation. The lead shielding that power stations used was too heavy. The US Air Force considered using older pilots who had already had children and didn't have that many years to live. Both US and Soviet projects were seemingly abandoned in the late 50s. However, after the fall of the USSR, documents revealed the Russians flew a working nuclear-powered plane in the 1960s and did it by not shielding the crew. The plane made 40 test flights. Sadly, apart from three people, every crew member who flew on the plane died of radiation-related illness. The plane also spewed out radioactive air. Nuclear planes as a launch platform for nuclear weapons were eventually ditched in favor of nuclear-powered submarines, which are operating to this day, without killing everyone on board. 3. The SLAM Project The supersonic low-altitude missile, or SLAM, was developed out of the failure of the US nuclear-powered plane, but because of the lack of a crew, no shielding was necessary, which made the project easier. The missile could fly up to Earth orbit and wait there indefinitely, then it could re-enter the atmosphere and fly at Mach 3 at low altitude, as low as 100 feet, dropping nuclear bombs and using the reactor itself to expose an area to radiation. A truly terrifying weapon. The program was ready for flight testing in 1964, but was cancelled in the aftermath of the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty that followed. 4. The Ford Nucleon a concept for a nuclear-powered car was built by Ford in 1958 to demonstrate what a future nuclear-powered road vehicle could look like if reactor technology ever got small enough to fit into a car. But reactors are still too big. Even the smallest modern reactors generate over 2,000 times more power than a car engine and reflect that in their size. Like with nuclear planes, there is also the issue of shielding, which is too heavy for a car. At the 2009 Chicago Auto Show, Cadillac showcased a model of a thorium-powered concept car. Thorium is an alternative nuclear element with lower radioactivity than uranium. Theoretically, the car would only need refueling every 100 years, but for now, it's just a concept. After all, if this is what happened every time there was an accident, think how high your insurance premium would be. 5. Nuclear Fusion-Powered Starships while Project Orion was flawed, scientists are still considering nuclear power as a future means of propelling spacecraft, not with nuclear bombs dropped out the back like Orion, but with a nuclear fusion reactor. Nuclear fusion is the reaction that takes place in our sun, but fusion reactors on Earth remain in the development phase. No one has ever built a fusion device that produces more power than is put in. 
Scientists say fusion power is always 30 years away, and they've been saying that since the 60s. But if a craft is developed in the future, it will most probably be assembled in space. Without the problem of aerodynamics or weight to consider, the reactor could be kept far away from the living quarters, minimizing the radiation risk for the crew. Fuel for this kind of spaceship, such as helium-3, is also in abundance in space. Jupiter has loads of it in its gas clouds, and it's also present on Earth's moon. Orion could have cut a trip to Mars from 18 months to just three, and a fusion-powered ship could be even quicker. It's not warp speed, but it would certainly mean humans would finally be able to realistically travel around our own solar system and access resources on other planets. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And as always, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.